1.9 fillings. In my previous video, I have started the dis discussion of third chapter, laws of motion. And in that video, we have finished the discussion of uh, Newton's first law of motion, in which we have seen that how Newton's first law gives us the idea about energy. Now today we are going to describe Newton's second law of motion and before we start the definition or statement of Newton's second law we should first understand the term momentum. Once we finish the discussion of momentum then we are able to learn what is Newton's second law of motion. So let us start the discussion with the term momentum. 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 Momentum is defined as the amount of motion, the quantity of motion contained in a body. So the definition of momentum is the quantity of motion contained in a body contained in a body is called is called momentum body can be determined. So if we want to measure the quantity of motion contained in a body, it depends upon two factors. The first factor definitely is the velocity of the body and the second factor is its mass. That's why if collectively we want to find out how much amount of motion is contained in a body that is given by its two factor, the one is mass and another is velocity. That is why the momentum can be determined by multiplying the mass and velocity of an object. So that is why momentum, momentum is equal to mass into velocity. So if we want to write this formula of momentum into in short then momentum is written by P, mass by M and velocity by V. So P is equal to MV is the definition of momentum. Let's talk about what is the unit of momentum. Every time I used to tell that if we want to determine the unit of any physical quantity then try to find the unit using its formula and the formula of momentum is given equal to mass into velocity we will put all the terms which are used in the formula of momentum so unit of momentum unit of momentum unit of mass unit of mass into unit of velocity So unit of mass is kg and unit of velocity is meter per second. So we have substituted the SI unit of mass and SI unit of velocity. That's why the unit that, that is derived from here is the SI unit of momentum. So the SI unit, unit of momentum, momentum is kg meter per second or simply it can be written kg meter second to the power minus 1. Once we have done the discussion of momentum then we can start the discussion of Newton's second law and one more important question is that we have derived the momentum from its velocity and velocity is a vector quantity that is why momentum is also a vector quantity. So we have one important note here, 
momentum is a vector quantity because it has magnitude as well as direction is a vector quantity Change in 
so that I can continue it from here. Applied is directly proportional to the rate of 